everyone. Uh, my name is Jessica Youngs uh, and I am a uh, program coordinator for the Recreation and Culture Services uh, branch uh, in the fitness department uh, for the City of Oshawa. And today I'm going to take you guys through a few exercises that you can do at home um, while you're trying to stay active. Um, they are exercises you can do either with equipment or without equipment, um, so you don't necessarily need to have any kind of equipment um, to do these exercises, which is great. Um, so the first thing that you're going to do, uh, anytime you're doing any kind of strength training activity, you want to make sure that you do a little bit of a warm up. You want to get the blood flowing to the muscles, you also want to make sure that you get your heart rate up a little bit before you start doing any kind of uh, strength training activity. So a good one that you can do uh, at home is you can just do some, just some walking on the spot. Now, if you want to make it a little bit more intense, if you bring your knees up a little bit higher, it does make it a little bit more challenging. Okay, another good one you can do for a warm up is basically just some lateral movement side to side. Okay, if you want to make that one a little bit more intense, you would come down into a little bit of a squat. Okay, coming over side to side. All right, so you want to make sure that you do your warm up anywhere from about five to 10 minutes before getting into uh, the actual exercises. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do or the first exercise that we're going to do, um, which is going to help strengthen the quadriceps, the hamstrings and the glutes uh, is we're just going to do a basic squat. So for this one here, you're going to stand with your feet um, about shoulder width apart, making sure you keep your abdominals nice and tight. Okay, chest is up. Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to bend or sit down or sit back, kind of like you're sitting in a chair, like there's an imaginary chair behind you. Want to make sure that your knees are not going past your toes. Okay, and then you're pushing yourself back up. Making sure that you're squeezing those glutes as you're coming up. And also when you're coming down, try to kind of focus on pushing your weight into the back of your heels, but don't bring the front of your toes up. Okay, so you're going to, you could probably do about between 12 to 15 of these. All right, then what you're going to do is you're going to take about a 30 second rest. Then you would do a second set. Take another 30 second rest and then do a third set. Now you can do more than three sets if you like, or you can do less uh, if you feel more comfortable. Always make sure that you're working at your own comfort zone. Um, and never push yourself past the point where you may end up getting an injury or it's a little bit too much for um, what you're capable of. So the next exercise that we're gonna do um, is gonna be a lateral squat. So again, you're gonna stand probably with your feet not as wide as hip width, so a little bit narrower. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come out to the side, okay? And then you're going to come to the other side. Now, as you're doing this and you're coming laterally, you wanna make sure that, again, you're pushing your glutes back as if you're sitting in a chair. Again, that those knees are not going past your toes and that you're really squeezing those glute muscles, okay, as you're doing the exercise. And you wanna do nice, slow and controlled movement, okay? So for that one, you would do 12 to 15 for the one side and 12 to 15 for the other. And the same thing, you would take about a 30 second rest in between, do a second set and then a 30 second rest and a third set or more if you, if you like. Um, so the next one that we're gonna do is going to be a lunge. So I'm gonna show you this one from the side, just so that um, you make sure that you've got the, uh, the right setup for this one. So you can do this one as well, with holding onto a chair, or holding onto a wall. You can also do the one that we just did, the squat with the same thing, if you need to put a chair in front of you for a little bit of balance. So for this one here, you're going to start with your feet uh, together again, um, abs are tight or your abdominals are nice and tight. Chest is back. So what you're going to do is you're going to step back with the one leg. Now making sure that this knee is not going past the toe. Okay. And then you're coming forward with the other leg. So you're going to step back. Okay. Making sure that this knee is not going over your toe. 
Now with the other leg, you wanna keep it a few inches above the ground, okay? And you're pushing off with that leg when you come back forward, okay? Making sure that you're keeping that chest up through the whole movement. And you're really pushing off with the glutes as you're coming up. Okay, so again, for that one, you would wanna make sure you do about 12 to 15 repetitions on each leg, okay? Again, you can also add weight to those. So even if you have a light set of dumbbells um, or anything around the house that might add a little bit of resistance. So the last exercise I'm gonna show you guys is uh, for, um, it's also good for building the quadriceps, hamstrings and glutes. This one you are gonna need access to a wall. So it is basically a wall set. So you're going to place yourself so your back is nice and flat against the wall. Okay, you're gonna slide yourself down to about 90 degrees, okay? Once you get into that position, you wanna really focus on keeping those abdominals tight. And you wanna hold this position, just sitting here, just up against the wall, as long as possible. Now you'll probably find that if you do this exercise last, that your legs are gonna already be a little bit tired from doing the previous exercises, so you might not be able to hold it for that long, which is good, they're just fine. You just wanna kind of build up a tolerance for that. So as you find you're getting a little bit stronger, you can hold the movement for a little bit longer, okay? So once you find that you're at your max for holding that, and you're gonna come out of the position, uh, and again, you're gonna do, you could do three sets of those or more. You could also start with one or two if you find that your legs are really um, tired from the previous exercises, which is fine. Okay, so those are four simple exercises you can do at home with or without equipment. Um, some things you wanna to remember too is when you're done doing your strength training, you do wanna do a little bit of a cool down. So you could go back into um, similar, uh, similar to the warm up. You could go back into just some light movement, um, just bringing that heart rate back down a little bit. Okay, and then you would wanna do um, a couple of stretches at the end to kind of stretch those muscles out. Okay, so a good one that you can do for the quadriceps um, is if you hang on to a wall, uh, you're gonna bring the one leg behind you, making sure that this leg uh, is straight. With this leg here, you wanna kind of push your hip just a little bit forward so you're feeling that in the front of the thigh or the quadricep muscle. So you would hold that exercise, or sorry, hold that stretch for about 20 to 30 seconds, never stretching past your comfort zone or where you're feeling any kind of pain. Then you would do the other leg as well. A good one that you can do for the hamstrings uh, is if you stand, um, just putting one foot in front of you, so this leg is straight, the leg, um, behind you, you're going to kind of try to kind of sit back into this leg until you feel some stretch right in the back of that hamstring muscle. Okay. So that one there again, you would hold for about 20 or 30 seconds and then you would switch to the other leg. Okay. Um, another good one that you could do as well uh, for calves is if you have, um, you want to place yourself up against the wall um, or near a wall. So you're going to kind of you can either put one or both hands onto a wall. You're gonna bring the one leg behind you and you're gonna lean forward, okay? Just a little bit on that front leg. So you feel a little bit of tension in the back of that calf, in the back leg, okay? Then you're gonna to switch to the other side, okay? And do the same thing. So you wanna hold those stretches uh, anywhere between 30 to 45 seconds. Again, never stretching past your comfort zone or to the point where you're going to feel um, any kind of pain. Okay, um, so I just want to thank everyone for joining me today. Uh, for more information uh, about recreation and culture services, um, please contact uh, oshawa.ca for any other information that you may be looking for. Thanks.